simple tutorial on electrical energy. Now here is a brand new formula. Let me get my pen out. Uh, let's go fancy pen. Uh, we have this brand new formula. Energy equals power times time. Energy is, we're in this case, we are talking about electrical energy. And this is important stuff to calculate. Now before we had power. Power is, as defined earlier, power is the energy rate. So energy used per time. So here's our fancy triangle, just in case you don't know how to manipulate formulas, but we have energy always measured in joules, power in watts, and time in seconds. The, the reality is, if you get an electrical bill, we're not measuring in watts, but we are measuring in kilowatts, which is a thousand watts. And we're not measuring every second you use electricity, we're measuring every hour. That gives us a little bit more manageable units to work with, so it's not such a gigantic thing. And so for energy, if energy equals power times time, then joules are not necessarily the unit that we measure in, but power in kilowatts. And of course, time in hours, we have what is called a kilowatt hour. So what is a kilowatt hour? You ever see these things? Oh, that's a really bad whatever. Uh, kilowatt hours, this is, here's, here's your energy meter. You got those people coming around, they just kind of show up in the side of your place and what are you doing in my property? I'm just checking the meter. They do that by remote now, but it's, it's a whole lot more less intrusive. But if energy is power times time, then a kilowatt hour is power in kilowatts times hour. That's energy. So we, we get charged on this. And you can find electricity cost calculators where you plug in these numbers, right? Which, by the way, if you're spending $10 per kilowatt hour, you need to move away from that place. That's real bad. Because, like, like, look at this. Look at this example. So uh, you have a 60-watt light bulb. We need to convert that to kilowatts by dividing it by 1,000. You multiply that by an hour, right? Power times time, 0 0.6, 0 0.06 kilowatt hours. So the amount of energy used by a 60-watt light bulb over an hour is this much. So what if you leave that light on for eight hours a day for an entire month? There's a reason why your parents or guardians or whoever you live with is screaming at you because you leave the lights on. Uh, if you did that, this kilowatt hour, this light bulb for eight hours a day for a month, it would drive 14.4 kilowatt hours per month. And if you're paying these astronomical prices, that's $144 every single month just to leave that light on. That's why they're screaming. But of course, usually energy prices are like 10 cents, not $10, which means you'd actually only be paying $1.44 for a month to leave the lights on. But if we use this, this price, then it actually justifies me screaming at my own kids for leaving the lights on. So let's go through two examples. One, an average desktop top computer uses 200 watts for every hour of usage. So how much electrical energy in kilowatt hours is consumed? How much energy? if a student plays Minecraft for eight hours in that day? Well, easy. First, let's write down what is given. We have 200 watts, but we also know that we are supposed to do it in kilowatt hours. So we're gonna convert that, uh, and we would divide that by 1,000. Trust me, that's 1,000. Divide that by 1,000 to get uh, 0.200 kilowatts. All right, so I would do that right away. As soon as we write down what's given, 200 watts, that's 0 0.200 kilowatts um, for eight hours. What's required? The energy. So let's find a formula. Well, we know that energy equals power times time. And so when we're at this point, let's get a different color, let's get a different color pen, the green stuff to solve the equation, it's time to solve. So let's plug in these numbers into our formula. So energy equals 0 0.200 kilowatts, uh, and we multiply that by the eight hours of delicious Minecraft time. And what we have, grand total, is 1.6 kilowatt hours. And that is a very simple example. But it's not always going to be this simple because most of the time the electrical energy questions have you calculating how much is that going to cost you. And so in this next example, right, we will answer that mighty question. What is the cost? How much does it cost, the dollar bills? And so what you would need to do is, mo in order to get the money is take your, your energy, energy usage, and you would multiply that 
by your rate. Your power rating, or not your power rating, but you like your electrical bill rate. How many, how many dollars or cents per kilowatt hour used. So part B to this question goes like this. If that student plays Minecraft on their desktop for eight hours a day, five days a week, then how much would it cost at $0.10 per kilowatt hour to play for an entire year? Well, aren't we always interested? If I had a full-time job playing Minecraft, how much would that, what, would that cost in electrical? So let's do this. So we wrote down what's given in purple. I know, okay, I know that energy uh, equals uh, 1.6 uh, 1.6 kilowatt hours a day. We got that from this question over here. For, so for eight hours a day, 1.6 kilowatt hours. But we also know that we played for five days a week for an entire year. So doing some quick calculations, five days a week, five days times 52 weeks, that's 260 days that you're playing every year. No holidays, no vacations, no nothing. Okay, so there's 260 days in a year that you're playing, eight hours a day. So here's our eight hours a day energy consumption. Here's how many days we play. The cost on our electrical bill is as written right there. So again, what is our formula here? We know that if we want to find out the money, we need, uh, oops, not multiply yet. I'm so sorry. Let's erase this. So if we want to figure out the exact um, formula here, we've got to put an equal sign. The, the exact dollar amount that's going to be charged is equal to, well, we need to find out how much energy is used in, for that entire year, and we need to multiply it by your energy bill rate. All right? And so if we're going to be doing that, now we need to solve the problem. So let's solve it and plug the numbers in. So the dollars is the uh, energy. Well, let's figure out how much energy, right? Let's figure out how much energy we use, right? Because energy equals um, 1.6 uh, 1 uh, kilowatt hours per day. So that's 260 days. So we're going to do 1.6 kilowatt hours, and we're going to multiply that by... 260 days and that will equal a grand total of 416 kilowatt hours for the entire year. We're going to take this number and we're going to throw it in this here formula. So 416 kilowatt hours for the entire year multiplied by our cost or our rate 0 0.10 dollars Oh, I got to put the money, cash, money, dollar bills um, per kilowatt hour. And what you will find is that these units will cancel out and we will be left with dollars. So when you multiply that, that equals a grand total. If you are ready, $41.60. All right. So it will cost you an additional $41.60 on your average uh, desktop to play that much Minecraft. Your full-time job will take $41.60 out of your pocket. Now that, that doesn't make a lot of, you know, like you probably were expecting a whole lot more, especially if you do the calculations wrong. It could be up to the hundreds. But if you're being charged $0.10 cents per kilowatt hour, and that's how many kilowatt hours you do in an entire year, Right? Paraphrase that. I'm not going to do it. You can paraphrase it for me in the comments. But $41.60 doesn't seem like a lot. How much are you paying for that little light that stays on all the time? How much are you for, for, for a uh, Dr. Pepper maker or, or a, an alarm clock? How much are you paying for that one little light? Like ghost energy, I think it's called. But uh, this is an example of how to calculate that cost. So if you're looking to play Minecraft for a living, you're going to have to pay around 50 bucks, 40 bucks, 50 bucks, depending on your rate um, for an entire year of full-time labor. Just be, be aware of that one. I, I really hope this helped. Now go and calculate cost.